Welcome back. Well, speaking with local entrepreneurs, one of the biggest hurdles in starting their own business is access to capital. And here in Tampa, a local nonprofit is a leading voice in the effort to help Latinos bridge that gap, and they got even more money to help. As ABC Action News reporter Lydia Vasquez shows us tonight, the new funds will go directly back into the community, enabling a new wave of business owners. I'm from Venezuela and I get to this country seven years ago. Seven years ago, Ale Pacheco had no idea how to start her own business. Fast forward to today, she's now the first entrepreneur in her family. I do charcuterie boards, it's my passion. But her passion needed a plan and she didn't get this far alone. Leaders with Enterprising Latinas tell me their mission is to help people just like Pacheco. Enterprising Latinas is a women's empowerment organization. Uh, with a mission to create pathways of economic opportunity uh, for women, for Latina women in particular, because Latina women tend to be on the lowest end of the wage spectrum. This week, the nonprofit was awarded a $70,000 grant to help build loan capital for minority business owners. It was just one of seven organizations to receive that grant money nationwide. The $70,000 grant is being used for a few things. One is to help us build capacity. We, we were able to hire someone full time to work with small businesses to you know help them with loans, loan packaging, understanding credit, understanding you know all the nuances that come with applying for a business loan because access to capital is a major issue for Latino and minorities. Pacheco says on top of the training Enterprising Latinas offers, thanks to other grants the nonprofit has been given, she was able to receive $10,000 to help her with her charcuterie business. They give my life back. Pacheco tells me she never thought her dreams would become reality after moving to Waimama from Venezuela, but she wants other women just like her to know anything is possible and Enterprising Latinas is there to help. It's a really good example for my kids. They can feel now like, oh, my mom can do it, I can do it too. So that is real important. In Waimama, I'm Lydia Vasquez, ABC Action News.